The idea is really to have the new mRNA process, which is like scalable and, and, and very small with a, with a very small footprint, actually, in a mobile container solution, the so-called biontainer. So um, by doing that, you can actually scale up very quickly, so you can build very fast, and you can copy and paste it, so to say, to other countries. So the, the idea is to go to Africa, build a hall, and then um, insert the containers to actually do drug substance and formulation production of, of mRNA on the continent in, in Africa and various countries. Yeah. Uh, where are you uh, planning on going to Africa? Because clearly political uh, stability must be also one of the um, issues you have in mind. Now, we have a short list right now, which consists of Senegal, uh, South Africa, and Rwanda. Uh, and we are having deep technical decision, uh, discussions with the teams right now from each of the countries to, to decide what infrastructure is, is, is there, what needs to be built, and so on. And then we'll decide on a first country to go to. But eventually, we'll, we'll, we're going to go and build the biontainers in all of these three countries. Um, what about the capacity to produce uh, vaccines? Um, how much um, do you want to produce? Uh, ideally, as, as much as possible. Yeah. But I mean, uh, you have to have also vaccine. I mean, this is not only for COVID. It, it could be anything. It could be malaria if we get this, or, or tuberculosis, and eventually, actually, even cancer vaccines, possibly. So uh, th the idea is um, these units can do, in, in COVID units, around about 50 million per year. So if you have two of these biontainers, 50 million per year, you can scale it up if you need more, and there might be process improvements that more comes out. But 50 million with the normal, normal operations without stretching it. Um, let's talk a bit about the COVID vaccines for Africa, because clearly we probably will only control COVID worldwide if that continent gets vaccinated. So how fast do you think we will see progress, and how fast can you put these containers on the ground? Uh, the, the idea was really because everybody realized that if you do not have local production in a pandemic, it will it doesn't work. So you have to bring the technology to the to the to the continent to Africa. So what we're doing right now is two pronged approach. We use our together with our partner Pfizer. We are leveraging our huge hubs. They are very efficient uh, in, in in Brussels in the, or in, in Belgium in the U.S. and in, in Marburg here to really bring vaccines to the world. So one billion to low, in, um, low in, in, in middle income countries already, until another billion until the middle of the year. And these things as quickly as possible so that you have an anchor either for the next pandemic or at the, at, if COVID is still available or is still, still around. So we will have, we are anticipating to have the hall and the first container in the first African country by end of the year and then you have to get, get it up and running with validation runs and so on at the local authorities, which will take 12 plus months, let's see. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.